Hey everybody, it's Joy. Hello to returning friends and welcome if you are new. If you enjoy today's video, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. If you'd like to enjoy more of my videos, please subscribe and ring that little bell. Now on to today's video. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you a simple but really nice way to incorporate the carousel asset into your cities. And I'm also gonna do a second version today that uses no mods and you can do completely vanilla as well. So we're just gonna center in our carousel asset. So I've left five squares on, or five tiles on each side. I, this asset is underused. I love this. It's actually Grattles who suggested I do the carousel uh, park asset this time. And I loved this suggestion. This is gonna be really fun. This is so cute. Okay, so first draw out some low, get rid of that one. So you see I was testing this out ahead of time. Draw in some low density just around the corners and leave the space. And then you're gonna select just grid. This is really important. And draw this, the inside here, all the way through like that. And then you're gonna grab the zoo path without decorations. Of course, you could do any path you wanted to here. I just think this looks really good. And then we're gonna use Move It just to pull these all the way to the end. Excellent. Okay, so I have this area is Green Cities and I'm just going in here using the Find It mod to pull exactly the assets that I want. And I'll show you in the vanilla one how you can kind of pick and choose your assets as well. It doesn't, it's not as quick, but it works. I love these little container cafes. I feel like you don't see them used very much. And I just love how the, um, the signs on these spin and then the carousel spins. So I think it's some nice consistency there. So then I'm just taking surface painter and pulling the concrete all the way around just to kind of clean up any bits and pull everything together. So just continue all the way around, get all the little edges, clean everything up. And then I'm gonna grab the dirt or gravel texture and just pop it into the middle of these right here. And then, I mean, look how cute this is. So cute. But we're gonna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull the beer garden bench and just carefully line these up. Okay, and there we go. One last little thing is just gonna really pull this all together. One of these on each side and I see a little surface painter spot that needs cleaning up just right here perfect and there we go adorable little carousel park really giving the carousel asset a sense of importance with these nice little outdoor container ship cafes and things I just think this looks adorable and it's really easy to put together and you can put this anywhere in your city and create an outdoor park gathering place okay so i want to show you guys how to do this completely vanilla without using any mods and that means no move it no surface painter and i can show you it's going to turn out just as cute so let's get over to that 
Okay, I've done the same thing, five tiles on each side and we're just doing our low density around the outside. We're taking the regular gravel path, again, making sure we have grit on, this is really important, and pulling this around. And then what we're gonna do is speed this up and play whack-a-mole. So that's just letting assets come in and deleting the ones you don't want until you've really fine-tuned this to exactly how you want it to look. I'm gonna pull a little path there and get some pedestrian activity on both of these. But yeah, I'm just gonna play whack-a-mole for a minute here, get the ones that I want. It does take a little bit of time, but I think it's worth the effort if you're looking for a specific look. The other benefit to doing it this way is you do get some unique buildings. When you're using Find It, you don't get everything. You just get some things. So there are benefits to doing it this way. Okay, I've got all the buildings the way I like them again. And with these paths, I'm actually able to fit three of these deer garden tables or benches, whatever you want to call them. Um, no, we'll stick to the outside like we did on the other one. A little bit too, no. So we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, and there we go. This turned out really cute. It has a bit more of a rustic vibe. I changed the inner pass to the dirt pass and I just feel like that really helped pull it together. One last thing what we need to do is change out the trees on this road. I think I keep saying this in every video, but I love being able to change out these trees. So I just try a few until I find the one that I want. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and found it helpful as an idea for a little park you can build in your city. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like me to landscape. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.